All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaqwa Dash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone, taught us this truth. And salutations to the hopeful elect as around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lumia from the JMS Chicago branch here in Chicago, coming back at you with another lesson. And Lord, and I hope it be out of fine. You know, I'm going to just uh, do this lesson, you know, you know, on the crime bill for January 1st, 2023 in, uh, here in Illinois. You know, so I'm going to just jump straight into it. You know, this purge like crime bill, you know, that they, uh, that they, that they're passing, you know, and just to basically, you know, say that, you know, a lot of things is going to get, you know, uh, spiral out of control real fast. And this is all set up by the elites, you know. All ordained by the Heavenly Father, how about Shimei Shah? Because so as we approach, you know, the near the end of this society, you know, things are going to spiral out of control more and more. You know, as this place collapses. <coughs> so it says, um, I got the screenshot. It says Illinois non-detainable offenses beginning January 1st, 2023. It says aggravated battery, aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary. Drug induced homicide, intimidation, kidnapping, robbery, second degree murder, threatening a public official. And it says uh under here it says under the new law after being changed uh like after being charged with the crimes listed, those arrested will be released without bail pending uh pending a court date. So basically, uh, if a person's you know is uh you know has one of these, you know, uh Things so I'm gonna read it again: aggravated battery, aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary, drug-induced homicide, intimidation, kidnapping, robbery, second-degree murder, threatening a public official. Right? They ain't gonna be able to hold you, you know, uh, for these things. Cause it was a video also, you know, how it basically said is, you know, somebody trespass your property, or somebody, you know, <coughs> you know, it's on your on, on your premises. It's nothing that the police can do about it. You know, they say it's going to be, you know, it's going to take, you know, for you to use the necessary, uh, the necessary force, you know, to basically remove that person, you know, from your premises, you know, and with that being said, you know, a lot of people, you know, it's going to, uh, you know, when this come, when this bill get passed January 1st, a lot of people is going to be, you know, especially people, you know, that don't like the police or anything like that. You know, a lot of these people, you know, it's going to be, man. A lot of these people is going to go buck wild, you know, especially here in Illinois where they say, you know, uh, crime is, you know, off the chain, you know, and, you know, just expect other areas like this, <coughs> just like Illinois to have the same, um, the same bill passed. Cause like I said, this is all set up by the elites, you know, they want, you know, they want people to, um, they want people to go wild, you know, and they expect people to go wild. But ultimately, just to say, you know, that we're going to need the Heavenly Father in times like this, you know. This is the book of Daniel 12 and 1. It says, In that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right? This is how bad it's, uh, it's going to get. That the Lord is going to send uh, Michael the Ark, uh, Michael the Archangel, you know, to uh, to protect his elect. Just to basically show you how bad and how critical things are going to be, you know, in the times that's to come, you know. And as the scriptures say, these are only the beginning of sorrows. So it's going to get a lot worse, you know. This place is on the verge of collapse, you know. Uh, this place is, you know, slowly, you know, fastly Salakia. You know, it's uh turned into a purge like state. You know, you ever seen the movie The Purge where everything they say what twelve hours everything is uh legal like murder, you know, kidnapping, crime, or whatever the case may be. You know, it's the same thing. You know, these different movies that these different directors make. You know, <coughs> you know, it's coming to life. You know, uh. I'm gonna read that last part again. It says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Who is thy people? The uh the Israelites. It says, everyone that shall be found written in the book, talking about the elect. Because we already know that only the elect will be, you know, protected in the times that's to come. You know, from all these different apparels. You know, we're gonna need the Lord in the times that's to come. You know? 
Cause you're if if you you know if you're relying on your gun, you know different tools to save your life. You know if you're you know relying on something that is not the Lord, you how about Shemuel Sha? You know you're going to be in a pitiful case. You know it's a uh, second natural. I believe it's uh the sixth chapter goes into. You know those that love my law while they had you had liberty. You know somewhere around there. You know so if you're depending on anything else that's not the Lord, <coughs> you're going to be destroyed. This is the book of Matthew 24 and 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Right. A perfect scripture that goes with that Daniel 12 and 1. You know? It's going to be a uh, great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world. So this is going to be a, a first time, you know, that it's going to be this bad, you know? To the point where you're going to be walking over dead bodies, you know? This purge like law that they're going uh, to pass. Expect more, you know, to it. Expect more countries to, you know, to um to pass the same thing, you know, cause what here in Chicago there's not a po a lot of police officers to go around, you know, for every crime, you know, that's being reported in, you know, cause they say, you know, if you get like if you get jumped, if you get um, if you get robbed, if you get brutally beat up, it's gonna take a while before a police cop or a cop car, or a cop cruiser, you know, to come um. You know, to come, uh, to actually, uh, you know, to, uh, to investigate the situation or to look into the situation. Cause they also said that, um, you know, somebody can actually do something and they can flee away and it's going to be a while before a, a police officer can even do anything about it. You know, so we read Matthews 24 again. This is the book of Matthews 24 and 21. It says, for there shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be right. So this time that we're approaching Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7 is going to be worse than slavery that we had to endure. You know, the hardcore bondage that we had to endure. You know, uh, going back into the 1900s when Jake was going through it. You know, during the time of uh, the Romans, during the time of the Greeks. You know, this time we're approaching is going to be like no other. You know? And like I said, we're going to need the Lord, you know, to uh, for that protection. Because what? If the Lord ultimately is not for you, Psalms 91, you know, if you don't have that protection from the Lord... You're, you're going to die one way or another, you know? Verse 22, and it says, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Right? That's why the days are going by so fast, you know? Four days don't even feel like four days no more, you know? They feel like half days, even if that, you know? So the Lord is shortening the days for the elect's sake. You know, Lord will, uh, you know, uh, us brothers be a part of that number. Lord will, we receive that mercy from the Heavenly Father, you know, if we give that diligence. But ultimately, you know, we're going to need the Lord in the times that's to come, you know. Because like I mentioned in the beginning of the lesson, you know, anything, if you're dependent on anything else that's not the Lord, you know, you're not going to make it. This is the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 1. It says, this know, uh, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. That word perilous means dangerous, you know? And it, we're living in some dangerous times right now because you can walk out. You know, you can uh, you can be targeted for, uh, by different people or different anything, you know? So just, uh, just imagine, you know, when this is a lawless society, when uh, the police, you know, uh, the police, uh, you know, force is inactive. Different things like that, where there is no uh, no law enforcement, where there is no order, where there is no law in the land, you know, that anything goes. Like I said, I mentioned the purge, you know, in this lesson also, you know, so just imagine. So if you don't have the Lord on your side, you know, you're going to perish. So let's look up that word perilous. I already have it pulled up. It says perilous. It says full of danger or risk, a perilous journey south. Exposed to imminent risk of uh, exposed to imminent risk of disaster or ruin, the economy is in a perilous state. All right, we're living in some dangerous times right now. You know, full of danger or risk. But if the Lord is on your side, you don't have nothing to worry about. You know, brother, um, you know, had a vision. You know, he was in uh, Jacob's trouble with his family. The Lord, you know, uh, fed him. The Lord protected him. And everything. Lord will not do a response lesson to that, but we, us brothers, 
you know, that, that rely on you, how about Shemiel Shai for the one of all things? We don't have nothing to worry about, you know? As you know, as you can read Psalms 91, you know, the Lord is going to cover us with his feathers, you know, loosely paraphrasing. We have nothing to worry about. You know, why everybody else is worried about this whole January 1st, 2023 crime bill, you know, that's being uh, that's being taken to effect. We don't have nothing to worry about. You know, while a lot of people is dying around us, you know, we're going to be straight, as the scriptures say in Psalms 91. Though a thousand follow on thy left hand and a thousand on thy right hand, nothing shall come nigh thee. You know, loosely paraphrasing. You know? But let's hit the Psalms, uh, Salaki. Let's hit the second address. Then we can close out. Second address 15 and, um... <coughs> This is the book of 2nd Ezra 15 to 14. That's it, the 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra 15 to 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. So we know the modern day sword is the gun. You know? When all hell breaks loose and when uh we see, because what? We haven't seen anything like, because I mentioned that these are only the beginning of sorrows, as the scripture, you know, says. You know, I believe it's in Matthew's. You know, so just imagine when this place completely becomes a lawless society, no food on the shelves, you know, something that you see off Mad Max. You know, everybody is in groups. People is hunting one another, you know, something that you see off the Hunger Games or something like that, you know. So it says, verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means destruction. And them that dwell, uh, dwell therein, talking about the people. It says, for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh. For one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. So people is going to be attacking one another with guns or any type of instruments, you know, to do some harm. Whether it be knives, bats, guns, screwdrivers, whatever the case may be. It says, um, verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? Because a lot of these people is going to be going after their, their mayors, their governors, their presidents. You know, yeah, it says verse 17 and it says, uh, <laughs> a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. All right. That's talking about martial law because best believe martial law is going to be taken to effect, you know, in the times that's to come, you know, and they're going to be getting into the action also. You know, they're not going to be like the police officers. You know, I'm going to need you to put your hands behind your back and I'm going to need you to remain silent. You know how they say, you know. Now these 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 uh these uh these EU troops these military troops that they're sending they're gonna send in during the time of martial law they're just gonna kill you they're just gonna shoot you without questions asked you know verse eighteen it says for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid right even men shall be afraid so how much more women you know so it's gonna be a, a, a all out you know bloodbath out here in the streets of America you know. And this could be a test, you know, uh, that's being going on here in Illinois with the whole crime bill. Uh, verse 19, I'm in off with this one. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The sword is the modern, the modern day gun or any type of instrument, you know, whether it be a bat, screwdriver, knives, machetes, whatever the case may be. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what's coming here to America. And that crime bill that I just read about could be, you know, the first big, you know, uh, you know, push that these elites are trying to do, you know, to basically that order, uh, to, uh, to basically create, uh, to cause the problem and to come in with that solution, you know, cause what they're trying to use something to ultimately, you know, uh, to cause the problem, you know, and this is all ordained by the heavenly father, you know, to use the elites to put, uh, to push these certain things into effect. Because, well, we're nowhere at the end of this society, you know? And this is all the Lord's doing. So, with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. We'll end up by giving all praise and the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Dash, that one us the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone taught us this truth and salutations to the hopeful you like that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. And until next time, why? Ababa, ba.